Come here. Satan says to Jesus, if you be the son of God, jump. Now I'm slow. I'm I'm, I'm slow. I'm slow, Jefferson, so you got to help me. The text says that Jesus was led to the pinnacle by Satan. Let me see if I can get this again. The text says that Satan led Jesus to the pinnacle of the church. Uh, I have a question. If you're going to go to the pinnacle of the church, it means they went through the church to get to the pinnacle. I got a question. How does the devil come to church and don't nobody recognize? Let me talk to these people over here because they trying to act like I'm not talking to them right in that section right there. Can I ask you a question? How does Satan come to church, in church, through church, and get to the top of the church and nobody knew it was him? Since you don't want to answer the question, do y'all mind if I answer the question? Apparently, ladies and gentlemen, in order for Satan to come to church, through church, up to the pinnacle, he had to come looking like the members. Now, don't look at your neighbor right now, cause, cause, cause we only got a few folk in here. But what would the church be like? if we didn't just have metal detectors, but devil detectors. Every gift you ever want, you ever, you better ask God to give you the gift of discernment because it's highly possible. You sleep with a devil. You sit next to a devil. You walk with a devil. You worship with a devil. Look at your neighbor right now. Look them up and down. Don't say nothing to them. Just look them up and down. Look back at me. The devil, ladies and gentlemen, is a disguise artist. The devil never shows up and says, hey, I'm the devil. The devil came to church the same way God came to church. In human form, preached Tolan Morgan, what it look like I'm doing. You got to be careful that you don't judge the book by the cover, but open the book up and read it. Because everything that looks good to you is not good for you. Even in church. 